Hello guys, welcome back to another basic Java programming tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about one of the most important object-oriented behavior called inheritance. So for accessing the properties or members of a class, we have to create an object of that class. It is not possible to access the members or properties of one class with an object of other class. But by using the inheritance properties or behavior, a class can share its properties with another class. Okay, so here I am going to show you an example that will demonstrate what is the, what is the meaning of inheritance in Java and how to establish inheritance in Java. So here we have a public class called uh, my class. So here I am going to add two more classes. Here I create the first class. I name the class as class A. And here I create another class named named it as class B okay so now we have three classes class A class B and my class so by using these three classes here I am going to show you how to establish inheritance in Java so in inheritance there are two type of classes parent class and subclass the parent class is those which those from which a class inherits so here I am going to make class A as parent and class B as child. So class B needs to extend class A. So we have to use the keyword extends and specify the parent class name. Here the parent class is class A. So this means class B can access all the public members of class A. So inside class B it is possible to access the public members of class A without creating an object of class A. So this is called inheritance in Java. So here class A is called parent class and class B is called child class because class B can access the public members of class A. That means class A share its properties with the class B. Okay, so in class A, here I am going to define some public members. Define some variable x with some value 10 and declare another variable y with some value 20. And inside class A, here I am going to declare another public member, public void. Uh, display result. a public method called to display result and this method contain an argument into result and here I'm going to print some results system dot out dot print ln x plus y equal to plus a result okay so in class A we have two public members x and y and there is a public method called the display result. Now inside class B, so class B is the child of class A that means class B can access all the public members of class A. So inside class B here I am going to declare define another method public void calculate. and change it as calculate sum okay so here I declare another variable result now I find out the result by using this expression x plus y see here there is no exception there is no errors because x and y are properties of class A but without inheritance if you want to access variable x and y inside class a sorry class b you have to define you have to create an object of class a and by using that object you can access x and y but here there is no need of object because class b extends class a that means class b can access all the public members of class a or we can say that class a share all its public methods and members with the class b or class A is the parent and class B is the child. That's why there is no object needed. 
okay and now I am going to call the public method inside class A so there is no need of object just you have to name the method and here I pass result as argument so this will print the result from class A okay so now from the main class here I am going to create an object of class B so create an object of class B I name the object as B equal to new class B and by using this object now I am going to call this method calculate sum so B dot calculate sum okay now we can run the program so now I am going to run this program here is the output x plus y equal to 30 I hope you understand what do you mean by what is the basic meaning of inheritance in Java. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.